Millions of Americans are at risk of eviction if they can't make rent next month, as moratoriums put in place amid the pandemic expire across the country. To get an idea of what that could lead to, we turn to one state in particular, Virginia. I suffer from PTSD from being in Iraq, so it can really put your mind in some areas that you really don't want to go to when, when, you, when you're considering being evicted from where you actually live at and been living six years because of a situation that you have, actually have no control over. Terry Bostick is a small business owner who's lived in the same Richmond department for the past six years. The COVID-19 pandemic completely upended his income, making it difficult to pay bills and leading to an eviction notice, something he says he's seen a lot of recently. I talk to tenants all the time and you can see the no notes on people's doors. The Supreme Court of Virginia lifted the state's moratorium on evictions, paving the way for them to resume this week. Bostick's court date is now less than a month away and he's not sure what he'll do if he's ordered to leave. I thought about, you know, at least having enough money to put my stuff in storage and just kind of go from there. Virginia has five of the top 10 U.S. cities with the highest eviction rates, with Richmond in the second spot. But it's a critical issue facing the entire country. A new poll from Newsy and Ipsos shows that 33% of Americans have had a harder time paying for housing since the pandemic began, and 49% now feel worse about their financial situation. I think we won't see uh, the, the cascade or the tsunami of evictions that we're expecting for another week or two, uh, but what we, are, we are tremendously concerned. Richmond Mayor LeBar Stoney recently announced the city will use $6 million of the $20.1 million it received from the Federal CARES Act to provide rent assistance and fund an eviction diversion program. But Chris Lip fears it won't be enough. I know that that program can be effective. I am concerned that the amount of resources we have just will not meet the need. As eviction courts reopen across the country, the unemployment rate still sits near 15 percent. But experts were concerned about looming evictions long before the pandemic began. Bianca Fischini, Newsy, Washington. The need. As eviction courts reopen across the country, the unemployment rate still sits near 15 percent, but experts were concerned about looming evictions long before the pandemic began. Bianca Fischini, Newsy, Washington. The need. As eviction courts reopen across the country, the unemployment rate still sits near 15 percent, but experts were concerned about looming evictions long before the pandemic began. Bianca Fischini, Newsy, Washington. The need. As eviction courts reopen across the country, the unemployment rate still sits near 15 percent, but experts were concerned about looming evictions long before the pandemic began. Bianca Fischini, Newsy, Washington.